Hi, welcome to Courtyard Gardens. I'm Lauren and today we're going to be cooking salmon with olive salsa on farro. So here we've got our little salmon fillet. We're going to season this very simply with some salt, a little bit of pepper, and some sumac. Uh, sumac is an herb that's really popular in Middle Eastern cuisine. Uh, it comes from a flowering plant that grows all around the world. It's got a really nice tangy, almost citrusy flavor. It'll go really well with the other things uh, we're doing in here. We've got a nice hot pan just with some canola oil in there. You can save the fancy olive oil for other stuff. Canola works great for something like this. Fish goes in, and then we'll just wait a couple minutes. You don't want to take your fish more than 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, any more than that, it really starts to dry out. Um, this one's pretty thin, so we're just going to keep an eye on it, and then flip it over in about a minute or so to finish. So you can see, as we're coming along, we're trying, starting to get the color changing a little bit around the outside of that filet. That's a good sign uh, that we have a nice crust forming on the bottom. So we're gonna give that a quick flip. Turn the heat down, let that finish for the next little bit. So, salmon's finished. We're gonna set this aside right now. And then in the same pan, just take a little bit of minced red onion. Let that cook for a few seconds on its own. You don't really want to get any color on the onion, just enough to soften it up and get the flavors going. And then we're going to add some sliced olives and a little bit of sun-dried tomato. Um, we have this Sicilian olive mix. It's a bunch of different varieties. There's some Kalamata, some green olives, uh, a couple others. That'll give a really nice uh, savory kick to our dish here. That can all go in the pan. Give it a good toss. Get all those flavors nice and combined. Then we're gonna add just a little bit of vegetable stock. And then cook that down to really bring it all together. You don't want it liquidy, but you don't want it totally dry either. So we're just gonna wait a moment while that cooks down. And then it'll be time to go to the plate. All right, so now we're ready to build our plate. We're gonna start with a little bit of hummus. Um, this is one that we made here. You can use whatever your favorite hummus is, uh, whether it's a store-bought one or something you made yourself. We're just gonna put that on the bottom. That's gonna give us a nice base to build our plate up. And it's also gonna give some nice flavor once we mix everything around. Next, uh, we've got our farro. This is cooked already. Um, farro is just another grain like rice or barley or anything. Cooks quite similar. Um, drop it in some boiling salted water for depending on what kind of farro, like anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes. This was the, the whole farro, had the bran on the outside, so this cooked for about 30 minutes. And then you get that nice, uh, those nice distinct grains. Farro is quite hearty and has a really good subtle nutty flavor that's gonna pair really well with the salmon. We're gonna season this with a little bit of uh, lemon zatar vinaigrette. Uh, zatar also has sumac in it, just like our salmon. It also has sesame seeds, thyme, and a few other spices in there. It's really popular in Mediterranean cuisines. Uh, and to this, we're also gonna add a little bit of red pepper, just for some nice brightness and some color, and some chopped fresh parsley to give it some freshness. Once seasoned just with a touch of salt to bring all those together, and then we can pile this on our hummus. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of crunch with some pickled radishes. We made these in-house. You can use radishes, you can use turnips, any sort of root vegetable like that is gonna work really well for this. 
and we're gonna line them up and just make a little platform on the top of the farrow, and then our salmon's gonna rest on there. Ready to go? So now we've got our cooked salmon uh, that we seasoned with the salt, pepper, and sumac. Really, really simple, because um, we're gonna let the rest of the ingredients season the whole dish. And we've got our base here. So we're gonna take our salmon. That's on the top. Then that lovely olive salsa that we made in the pan. We're gonna take some of that. A couple of jumpers are okay. We'll make sure they get home. And then just garnish with a couple pieces of shaved radish and another little sprig of parsley. And then to finish it all off, we're gonna take a little bit more of that vinaigrette. And for some color, just a couple of grape tomatoes. And there you go, salmon uh, with olive salsa on farro.